Unity 3D is a game-making engine that is powerful, simple to use, and most importantly, free to download. There is a more powerful paid version, but you can do a lot with the free version. Despite its name, Unity can be used for both 2D and 3D games. You can do programming in C-sharp, Java, or Boo, a language similar to Python. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the Unity environment and show you how to make a simple game in Unity. You do not need any coding experience to follow this tutorial. However, it is recommended because you may have an easier time proofing your code for errors if you have some background some kind of coding language. This instruct table is based on the roll of ball tutorial on the Unity website. There are a large number of free tutorials that can be found on the Unity tutorial webpage. I created this tutorial with a set of step-by-step -step instructions. Step 1. Create a new project. Open the Unity Hub. If you do not have then the download link is in the description. Click on the new button. Click on 3D. Write a name for your project. Select location to save your project. Click on the Create button. Let's talk about Unity Editor's layout. There are five main windows that you are using most of the time with Unity. They are the Scene, Game, Hierarchy, Project, and Inspector windows. Every window can be clicked and dragged into position. Alternatively, you can use the default layouts provided with Unity by clicking the drop bar under layout in the top left of the screen. I like the tall layout, though I find it helpful to put the game view below the scene view. Step 2. Save the scene and set up the build. In the hierarchy window, right-click on the scene name. Select Save Scene. Go to File and then go to Build Settings. Click on Add Open Scene. The open scene will be added automatically in the build setting, or you can drag and drop all your game scenes manually. It is necessary to tell the editor that which scenes are included in the game. You should choose a platform for your game. For now, we are using PC platform. You can customize the player settings by going to player settings. Here you can change company name, game name, and version. You can also change the default icon. Close out of the build settings window. You will come back to this when you are ready to finish your game. Step 3. Create Stage Go to Hierarchy window. Right-click, 3D Object, select Cube. Or you can go to the Create button on top left of the Hierarchy window. Reset the cube's transform by right-clicking Transform in the Inspector panel. It is good practice to do this whenever you create a new game object. Select the cube in the hierarchy. Rename it wall by double-clicking its name in hierarchy or using the inspector panel. Scale the cube in the X direction to make it long and wall-like.
Right-click wall in the hierarchy panel and duplicate it three times so you have four walls. It will look like you only have one wall because they are identical and therefore occupying the same point in space. Drag them into position and or use the transform options for each cube to make an arrangement that looks like an arena. To look around the scene view, click the middle mouse button to pan and scroll to zoom in and out. Click and drag while holding the Alt key to rotate the view. Add a plain game object by selecting, create in the hierarchy panel, and use it for the floor. Rename it floor. In the next video we will start from here. If you like the video then hit like, and if you did not subscribe yet, then hit the subscribe button and press bell icon to get new videos notifications. See you in the next video.